Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me and welcome back. Let me get myself situated here. Um, this is going to be a haul video. Some of these items, um, uh, well, was gifts and then some just purchased with my own money and stuff. But <clears throat> let's get started. First we'll go with what I had bought, like just personally I bought um, with because uh, it's like an on uh, it's from shop HQ I think that's the name of the place I had gotten some products from the company skin here's so many people talk about it um, I actually have heard different times um, I, I didn't get the eye I forget what it's called some kind of eye product and I couldn't remember the name of it for some reason um, but I know Susie swears by it. I've heard Natalie talk about it, I believe, and a couple other ones. Um, this is Love and Lotus. You got like um, a milky protein cleanser. Like there's the cleanser that came with. Which, as you can see, I've already been using it. I think my husband has been too. Um, you get the Love and Lotus uh, body butter which I have been enjoying. I have been using it. This I haven't tried yet, but trust me, I will be doing it, is the uh, body polish from the Love & Lotus line too. So these are all the Love & Lotus line. I'm not sure he must have another line, I think, but mm, but yeah, let's see. It's the polish. It's like all on one side right now, but mm, it just smells yummy. Then, these are three skin products, um, and I know a lot to seem to like his skin products. This, it came with the uh, Skin Hydro Hydro Surge Deep Moisture Lifting Treatment with Amino O2. Is that what it is? But it's like a blue coloring in there. Okay, so there's that. And then the other skin oh. item is um, Louis Nutri, Nutri Vital Intense, is that how you say it? Deep Penetrating Lipid Replenishing Serum. So it's a serum. That's what it looks like right there. Not sure how well you can see, but. And then the last thing is Restore C Plus Vitamin Concentrate. And it's in a little thing, it's a powder. Comes in this little oh, thing here. My son got me this for Christmas. And it is the Flower Love the Way You Feel. It is um, her collection she has of a, you get a perfume, uh, you get a lotion and a shower, like a shower jelly. You get that. Um, this one's in salt, sultry, I believe. Yes, sultry. Um, I haven't used my body wash yet, which of course I will be. I go, I, I rotate those just as much as I rotate everything else in my line. And it's a very, it's a very nice fragrance. I wasn't sure how much I was going to whatever, because it is sultry. So it is a little more stronger of a perfume than what I do like. I will say that much. Like, I'm usually more of somebody that likes the more um, softer kind of stuff a little bit. All right, I'm back. My cat was trying to get into stuff. So as I was saying, there is the body wash, the body lotion, um, and then this real cute little perfume. It's... um cute and it's purple and look at that you see the rose flower kind of kind of thing going on it is just too cute of a bottle is it not i think it's just so adorable but my husband had picked me up a couple little things when he was in right aid and he knows i love makeup so um and he said they had like a 40 percent off on maybelline he got me a couple of um, or Maybelline products to work with and try. I think he got mad. <laughs> so, um, which I've tried one of them. The other two I haven't quite... I've tried other Maybelline eyeshadows, but I haven't tried these ones yet. 
the these ones the, these ones are like their expert wear that it come in like this. This is called Autumn Coppers. Oh my goodness, this is not even doing it justice. Because in person, it is just so gorgeous. So here's the base color. I'll do the base. That's this bigger one here. That's the base there. Get a little bit more. That one's probably the one that's a little bit harder to see. So I'll probably have to get a little bit more, but I would use that obviously at the brow bone area. But yeah, that one you can't see too well. Okay, for the lid, here's the lid color, which is right, uh, right here. That's the lid. Look how pretty. That's pretty. Get a little bit more, but it's nice. Nice, beautiful, coppery shimmer. It's a light color, but very pretty. The crease is right here in the middle. I actually have the mark for you how, you know, and that's more of a matte kind of a, and that's a really nice matte shade. Hmm. It's not swatching. It swatched fine from the other day, unless I have something still. Oh, there we go. There we go. So there it is there. I guess I put a little too much in there. And then the liner is supposed to be down below here. That's it right there. Very pretty color. Has some glitter on that one. I don't know if it will transfer or not, but there it is there. So I thought that would be pretty to work with. And then um, lipsticks, you know me, I love Maybelline lipsticks. And he got me the color Pink Alicious. And I think I just actually seen somebody talking about this color. I thought, I don't think I have that one. It's just so funny and ironic that he ended up getting it. But it's 055 Pink Alicious. It's a really pretty color. There it is. I want to get some of the ones that are from the Bloom collection. Oh my goodness. Those look gorgeous. There it is there. So there's Pinklicious. You can always see the beautiful shine. I never tried. And, oh, <laughs> this is the Superstay 24 hour two step color. I don't know, have any of you ever tried this? I mean like I know I've seen them before. For quite some time actually I just never never jumped on it and never tried um, and I don't know if I've ever really heard many people talk about or see a video maybe they are out there and just haven't seen them so I mean I'm not saying they're not out there now this color is a very pretty color um, it's called very cranberry 100 very cranberry is what it's called but I'm not quite really sure it's 100 very cranberry to me, it doesn't look like cranberry, but it's a nice color. Um, and this has two different uh, sides. Um, I know Rimmel has something right now, which I'll be intrigued to try, because it's supposed to not move. And um, so this is your lip part, your color, and this is the balm, the lip balm part. Now from what I'm reading or read with these ones here, you have to let this uh, dry for a couple minutes. Like you apply your lip color on and then you have to let it dry for a couple minutes and then you put the lip balm stuff on. I'm waiting for my cat to fall again. So <laughs> I have swatched this on my hand because I want to see the color. I swear, I even took a shower and everything and that thing, I didn't use no makeup wipe or anything like that because I was curious. That sucker was on me, probably for the 24 hours, or maybe hence longer, I don't know. It just, it was, it was there. So, um, now it's just a little small vial thing, like that you have on that one end, though. That's one thing, I'm not sure how much, well he said it was 40% off, so I'm not sure how much it originally is, but there it is there, the doe foot applicator. It's, um, you know, angled very nicely to hug your lips, so that's nice. And I'm going to swatch a little bit off there because I don't want too much. So here's the color. 
and it goes on really nice. I mean, it's very pigmented color. That's very cranberry. To me, it looks pinky red. So there it is. And it says to give it a couple minutes, which that's what we're gonna do. The other side, because it's like a lip balm on this side here. That's just a balm. And basically, it's just to put on to keep your lips a little more moisturizing because it does kind of settle as a matte. I noticed I didn't try them on my lips yet, so I'm not sure how well it will work there. But this is supposed to moisturize, and you can apply it at um, different different parts of the day if you want to. If you want a little moisturization on your lips and everything, we went to the mall with my. Uh, daughter and my little granddaughter and uh, her, the my daughter's boyfriend and everything. We went to the mall, and the mall that we went to had a J.C. Penny, and in that J.C. Penny was, and I knew because I had heard other people talk about it, a Sephora. So I thought, oh my God, this is gonna be my first time. It's not gonna be like the gigantic Sephora store just itself, like some people get to experience. But it would give me a little something to, you know, see. And um, so I went in there. Uh, I went by myself. <laughs> we all like went separate ways. <laughs> went there by myself. But um, my husband, you know, like was letting me pick out some other things in there if I wanted to and stuff. And like I said, he's, he's been pretty good with me on that kind of stuff. Like picking out some items or just surprising me. I mean, and whatever. So, um... So yeah, I got my Sephora, my first Sephora bag ever in the history of YouTube right now. So I went in there and one of the first things that I was, that I had seen and I wanted to get, um, the only thing that's confusing to me is I'm wondering if this is from last year, but then when I look on the site for Sephora, Pretty much everything is the same for except one thing in here. And this is the uh, lip lip service lip sampler. I've gotten this. And I wanted to get it because it's like 25 bucks and you get all these, well, you know me with lip products, you get all these lip products in here to try out, um, which I have tried a couple of them before, but a lot of the other ones are kind of new to me. Um, and the Smashbox one is a full size on top of it all. But here it had $29 and that's what it came to was $29. Now the difference with this one, I, now I don't know if somebody can tell me if this was last year's or not, but I'm thinking it's not. I don't know, I guess I'm just thinking not because it seems like everything else is the same. The only difference in this one is you get a Makeup Forever lip liner. Um, in here where I seen somebody else showing and they got a Marc Jacobs lip product in there. So of course it comes with your lip colors in here. Um, nice variety of colors. Like I said, there's one lip liner. The rest are like uh, lip gloss and a couple are like lip gloss lipstick kind of a thing. So the first one, I don't know why I put them in here like that. The first one is the Smashbox, and it is the full size of one of their lip glosses, and I think this is in Pout. I think it will probably even tell me on it. Yeah, it's in Pout. Um, it's just, it looks like it's just a one that you would, you could wear by itself, or it looks like it would be one that you could put on top of a color, you know, like a topper. And, um... Their doe foot applicator is flat on both sides, so that's pretty. I don't know how well you're gonna see it because that color's so, so fairly light. But there it is. There, I might do more topping it off if it can see that, but it's very hard to see. But that's it right there. <laughs> and then um, the next one is from Bite Beauty. I had this in my last couple of videos um, this color here which let me see what color it is Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencil in Murtage Murtage, Murtage or something like that it's a beautiful reddish pink color
color or something like that. Very pretty color. And I do have some Miniature Bite Beauty lipsticks. And I know those are pretty awesome. So this I had on earlier and I really liked it. So that's the color right there. Whoops, right there. Very pretty bearish, bear, berry color or something. So that's it right there. Nice shine to it. I've heard so many people talk, and I've been wanting to get this, is the White Russian from Buxom. I do really love Buxom lip glosses. I haven't had them for a long time because I started exploring more on other lip glosses and stuff. So it's been a while since I've had any Buxom at all. And um, this is the White Russian, and I hear so many people talk about it as the lip cream from Wow. You know that got a good stopper when you hear that. So... This is the White Russian right there on the end. Whoops, geez, poked myself right there on the end. Mm, I always love the smell of their lip glosses too. That's a really, that's a really pretty nude color. I like it a little bit better than powder right now because it has a little more coloring to it. Okay, here's the lip liner from Makeup Forever. And I did use it earlier too and tried it out. This is in, it's a neutral color, Makeup Forever. It's Aqua Lip Waterproof Lip Liner Pencil 3C Medium Neutral Beige. I like it. I think I might get it, like the full thing, because I like it. I'm not sure how much they're going to be, but that's it right there. And. There's the color right there, so it's a nice neutral color. And then I got Orgasm, finally, from NARS, the Orgasm lip color. I've been wanting this and I cannot wait because summertime, and I've never had this one. I've had, I do have the Turkish Delight and then I forget what the other color is. So I'm excited to go ahead and use this because it is such a gorgeous color. Oh my gosh. So I can only imagine the blush. I don't even have the blush, but there it is there. The orgasm lip gloss. Okay. Last one is Urban Decay, which I had a hard time with getting it out and ended up bumping it and doing whatever, but it's in Naked. It's just this little thing. Look how cute. That color's Naked. So this is what I was having a problem with. I was trying to twist it up. So I kind of bumped the thing a little bit, but it is a very pretty color. I might invest in some of these lipsticks. I was going to, and then I just didn't, wasn't able to get any right there. Let's make it. I like that. It's an actually now, really this pretty is color. The one that was dried off, or that we were waiting to dry. So, let's Okay, watch me. Not budging a darn. So let's put this on because it's more mat matting, mattifying. So yeah, when you put the balm on, it does do a nice shine to it. But as you've seen, I was trying to rub it off. It stays on there. All right, so the next item that I had gotten, and I wasn't really sure about getting it at first, and then it was the last one there, and what I did like about in the Sephora was obviously, like most people say, everything is out on display. You can um, check I everything out seen it on the Sephora site itself and had thought about it because well, it is the Dolly High Roller Collection, Buxom, it's Dolly High Roller Collection, there's the thing there, it says Dolly, okay, Dolly's High Roller Collection, Dolly is probably my favorite, well, one of my favorites from the Buxom Collection that just the color itself I always just liked it looked really good on me so I liked the dolly 
buxom lip color. So when I had seen this here, um, it has it's a nine piece full full face collection. Um, and I seen the swatches and I tried the swatches and everything. I knew I had to get it. So, um, so it's really cute. It has like a mirror here and it has a little kissy lip there. It doesn't have the names on on here, but I can read from this here. So there is Call Me Hold the Line Waterproof Eyeliner in here. I'll remove the plastic. You can see there's like eyeshadows, lip, bronzer, highlighter, and blush. And then up here is that Call Me uh, Eyeliner. The casing feels pretty nice durable, durable casing. Oh, it's one of them pencil. Oh, wow. That goes right on there, like real smooth, real delight to the touch. And then we have the dolly. Uh, one side's the lip polish, one's the lip cream, which let's see if I can get that out now. But yeah, one side's the lip polish, one's the lip cream. Which lip cream is usually the frosted side, kind of one, and then the other side's the polish. So the lip cream, I'm excited because I always had the polish one. So now that she's, now that Dolly is in cream, I'm excited. So let's see. Oh, see, I love this color. Although that didn't go on too well. There's the lip cream part, and the other side is the lip polish, which I think the lip polish is the one I used to always get, yeah, because it smells like that cookie smell. Listen to me, cookie smell. Below it is the polish, so one's cream, one's polish, I don't know if I see much of a different, well, the polish has sparkles in it. Oops, the cream obviously just cream. The eyeshadows, like I said, um, the bronzer and highlighter and blush. Okay, the eyeshadows, oh my gosh, can you see them? I know it's kind of mirrored, so that kind of stinks. Darn it, it's probably the only bad thing, because it's kind of mirrored. So you, uh, don't know how well like that might be the best I can get it to cha-ching is this color right here this is called cha-ching and boy is it a gorgeous color look at that oh I haven't tried the, these shadows yet so I'm kind of excited and you can see it there that's cha-ching um the one beside it's called Strip Poker, which it seems to be of a matte shade, I think. Yeah, it's a matte shade. That's Strip Poker. Let's buy the cha-ching there. <laughs> cha-ching. Um, below cha-ching, Chocolate Diamonds. So that's chocolate diamonds. Oh, beautiful. There's chocolate diamond right below there. The bottom there. And then the last one, royal flush. And it's of a pink color. This is Royal Flush. That would probably be your highlight color or something. It's pretty, pretty light. Not sure how well you'll see it there, but it's there. So those are the colors 
for the eyeshadows. They're really nice. All right, then we have the bronzer, which is called Tahiti. I don't know if it comes by itself in, in one of their things or not, but that's Tahiti in the bronzer. So, there it is there. That's Tahiti. It's kind of a shimmer shine to it. Right there it is. Kind of see it over here a little bit, but... Um, okay, and then this oh, highlight, I am in love with it. Don't know if it comes by itself, but it's called Bankroll Luminizer. If anybody knows if that comes by itself, oh my gosh. And it's just, it's gorgeous. I love it. That's what it's called, Bank Roll. Let's see. It is a gorgeous highlight. Not sure how well you'll be able to see it. Mm. It's really pretty. And then the blush is called Dolly. Gorgeous color, but the Dolly color is gorgeous anyway. I love this color for a blush. I'm not sure if it's a permanent color anyway or not, but it is gorgeous. There it is there, Dolly. Just gorgeous pretty mm. right there it is just so pretty oh my goodness so I was very happy with getting it at first I wasn't sure you know I was like mm, I don't know but I was very happy afterwards when I started playing around with it a little bit more and um because like I said I got to swatch it in the store and this was the last one that was there. I was going to have her, because like when I was looking at the Kat Von D stuff, I was going to have her give me a sample of Kat Von D um, foundation. And then I told her, like, well, my skin is kind of combo dry. And I said, some people say that it's not always a good thing to do uh, if you have that kind of, you know. So she was like, mm. And I said, do you have anything more of an illuminating kind of foundation that you would recommend? So she gave me a sample of, I think it was from Cover X FX. Is that the name of the brand? Cover X. Jeez. Oh, Cover FX. Uh, she has PBO Natural Finish Foundation. But she gave me a little sample of that to try. And she said it gives a nice. Um, she said it almost reminds her of the Kat Von D because she used to like it. She can't use it no more. So it almost reminds her of that a little bit the way it does cover um and it do, but it does give a nice luminous finish too um so i'll have to give that a try but then i said to her because i said about the concealer from kat von d i was going to try before too but then maybe i better not and she said oh no you know that that will probably be okay if you want to try the cat you know so she said i could probably give that a try so i got it in light uh 16 so she gave me a sample of that to try so i'm excited to give that a try and then she gave me a sample of uh, Josie Marion uh, Argon Cleansing Oil, little sample thingy packet of that. And then for um, something else, I got the uh, little, uh, what is it, Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. It's in that green one. Um, I tried the other one before and it was really nice. Just the price. Um, you know, of course I'll get the sample, but the price sixty some dollars. I mean, if I make good money, sure, yeah. But I don't make that kind of money to always go ahead and really, you know. I mean, I want to keep with skincare products and stuff, and that's important to me. But to just get one product for that, I mean, it's going to have to be something that's going to really knock it really right out of there, and and you know. It's going to have to be a miracle thing, is what it's going to have to do for me. I mean, if it does good, that's great, but it has to be a miracle thing for me to pay that. But anyway, beauties, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video and enjoyed yourself, um, go ahead and press the like button. Um, and then also, if you are not subscribed to me, I would really appreciate it. And you could come and join me and press the subscribe button. Love to have you. 
And as always, beauties, just please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, beauties, y'all take care, and I will see you later. Bye. Take care.